explain it. Just explain where we are now in, in the route. We're in Colbeck Parish Hall, so yeah. checkpoint one and checkpoint four. Okay, so we've ran about seven and a half miles to here. Okay, and then we're going to do a big loop. Well, we're just um, taking this path out of uh, Colbeck. Right, we're now just heading towards the fells, and this house on the left here is Chris Bonington's, the famous Chris Bonington. The second gate at the Clay Bottom Farm. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And we're now heading up, so we're going to go up the stony path, bearing left uphill to grassy path. Let me just. Road, road, wall, then you come back this way. Okay. So come back way along the wall. Um, that's the way out. Because it will. Yeah. So if you imagine a frying pan, we're at the top of the the handle now. Well, I, I, I said a lollipop, but uh, the official race director calls it a, a frying pan. So I've got a, I've got I've got to go with the official official description. Okay, so we're heading up this grassy path now. So it's a bit of a climb now, is it? Yeah. Right. So we've just come up that grassy path there. We came to the T junction and uh, with the fenced area ahead, the just there, and we took the left, right path. And then we're heading up here now, um, and then bare left on the faint path, passing to the second fenced area. Yep. Very good notes, Gainer. So we've come down off High Peak there, and then we're just uh, following this path now for. So that's a bit of a view now. Johnny's having a look. If he's got a bit tired, he might have a little kip in here for a while. And again, you're saying you've got a safety marshal here? Yeah, Peter. Pete? Yeah. Peter will be here just to check you through, make sure everyone's got to this. But no water. But no, because he'd have to carry it. Yes, that's a bit tough. In the uh, safety hut. And then the beck is on the, here. When we get to the beck, don't cross it, just keep the beck on your right. And uh, I think Gainer's saying it does become a bit better path in a minute. But as long as you keep the uh, the back on your right, and you'll be okay. Okay, we've made our way down on the path here. We're uh, just going to cross this stream now, and then we're onto a better path now uh, for a while. So we've uh, followed down there. Goes the back and so we're gonna head down this looks a, a better path from here. Fancy meeting you here, Dave. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Morning, sir. How far have you run? Eight miles. Hey. It's taken me an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> so here we are climbing up to Skiddo House, which is a, a youth hostel. So do you think they'll be out cheering us on going as we go past? Of course. <laughs> Right. Which will bring us round to the end of the valley where you went wrong in the yes. <laughs> Thank you, Gainer. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> okay, so we've now, um, this is the Lakeland 100 route. So the Lakeland 100, you come this way and then you go down there. And this is famously where I missed the turn off and I carried on for half a mile this way and then couldn't believe I'd made a mistake and had to come back again. And the dibber was just down there, whereas I thought it was going to be here. So it wasn't really my fault. <laughs> so we're now going to follow the 100 route in the opposite <laughs> direction to, um, to Latrick Car Park. Yep. And then we head up to Skiddo.
So we've just come uh, down this path over the stream and then we're just making our way uh, to Latrick car park and then basically the path for Skiddor is just on the other side of this hill and we'll be heading up there. Okay, so this is uh, the Latrick car park. Uh, Skiddor is up there and here's the guys coming into the checkpoint looking very strong. Big smile for the camera please. So this is checkpoint number two. Yeah. Right. Climbing up Skiddo. Starting to just get into the mist now. So there's Keswick and Dermot Water. Dave trying out his poles for UTMB. It's on a wide tourist path, I think most of the way up here. down the ridge, such a beautiful ridge and uh, following down there with the heather on the side Bath and Thwaite to the left there and then see for miles around the top end of the lakes okay so we've made our way down the ridge and Johnny's gone the wrong way so we're calling him back and we're going to go down this path here and what's this place called we're going to? That's where the checkpoint is. A little no. bit further, Peterhouse Farm. Okay, Peterhouse Farm. So we've just come down there, coming off the ridge, and then uh, the grass through this gate, and then we take a right here and follow the wall and up this bit here. Okay, we've come down there over that stile, past the farm, and then we take this uh, path here, which says permissive path through this gate. So we come off that little track and then we're taking a right here, are we? Yes. And a stream to cross. Many rivers to cross. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's on video. <laughs> so this is the, the checkpoint that, uh, at uh, Peter Head Farm. Came that would find me, alright, so I ended up. Okay, ended through up. the gate where the checkpoint is. When you get to this rock, then take a line on that finger post and then across to that corner. So across from the farm there, across the field, through the gate. And then I think we're taking a... So there's the sign Peterhouse Farm. And then we're aiming for... So we follow the fence there, come through the gate. And then we're going to just head down. Do we stay this side of the fence? Oh, it's the gate, yeah. All right. All right. And there's a bull in this field, is there? <laughs> That's me with the red top. I'll, I'll hide behind Katrina. And this is the field where the buzzard is. famous field where the buzzard is that always attack Gainer. This is the buzzard. <laughs> Yay, it's it's coming again. Okay, so we've gone over the buzzard field, didn't attack us, and now we're heading up to the wooden gate, halfway up the hill there. Going across that field, through the gate, and then we just follow this nice mowed path through this farm. 
and then from there we take a left. Horseweight farm, turn left. We're on the road for a little bit now. Yeah. And finally, it's warm enough again to get a jacket off. It's a beautiful afternoon now. So we've run down the road from the farm, a uh, mile and a bit, mile and a half, and then we take a right here into the path, following the Cumbria Way to Greenhead. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Lots of sheep to run past. Very runnable path here. And crossing the stream. Just run down that road, past these farms, and now I think we've got a little bit of, a bit more, a tiny last bit of road to uh, Fellside. We've just come down the road through Fellside, and then. Yep, and then we take a, a right here, and we're heading back up onto the fells now. Okay, we've come down the path, the uh, farm is in there, and we're just going to take this path and uh, follow it, this little trod. So we've now completed the pan, have we? So we're back to where we were a few hours ago. We're going back down the panhandle now. <laughs> 